hearing. How many people are out there with you watching it this morning? What kind of reaction do you, do you see there? Well, people here are, have uh, been arriving by the thousands only in the last 12 hours. So we have about 750,000 people, it's estimated, in the county of Cornwall right now. That's about three times the native population. You can see that it is now getting extremely dark here. The clouds are obscuring much of our view here, although we have been lucky to catch some glimpses. But people uh, who observed the 1927 eclipse in Britain, and now it's getting really dark. This is very impressive. Yes, as a matter of fact. You can see twilight around the horizon there. Uh, people have said that the, the clouds themselves intensified the sensation of suddenly being overcome by darkness. I, I can see it happening. And the lights, Leon, are going out. And, you know, we can see it as, as, uh, as you speak right now. And, and um, looking at the shot right now, we can all, the sun has almost totally disappeared. It looks as though, like, just barely the western edge of it there is now visible. And as we speak now, it's uh, just about disappeared. And there we have totality. Dick Blystone, how's it look there? Yeah, it looks absolutely staggering. I, I can hardly describe it. There are a couple of little red dots that are all I can see of the sun at the, at the lower edge. People will be studying the sun's corona as they can, but they won't get much joy here. The corona is uh, many, many times hotter than the surface of the sun, which is now obscured, and scientists would like to know why. This is really something else. We won't get another chance to see this anywhere in the world, totality, until August of uh, 2001. Here in Britain, we're going to have to wait till the year 2090. Well, they're getting... What we saw just then, I believe, was... Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, they may have to wait that long for the next one, but they're getting quite a show right now. Yeah, and all around me on the horizon, perhaps Mark can turn around and just show you that. A lovely sunset in the middle of the day. And in a moment now, if we could only see to the east, we would be seeing it all the way around us. Very special colors right now yep. as we look up and are able for the first time in our lives to gaze at the sun well, without did, any kind of protection. That's beautiful. If, if I can play director here for just a moment, I, can we put up both shots at the same time right now, those in the control room? If, is it possible to have both of these shots up at the same time, getting that horizon shot that Dick was just talking about there? Because there I think you get a really good sense of exactly what the scene there is like. There we go. Dick, we're now seeing what looks, what the camera is just showing as the clouds as well as the total eclipse of the sun there. Absolutely beautiful. Right, and your left-hand picture is only going to last about another minute or so. Then the light will begin to grow again here, as, and you're now beginning to see it, in fact. The, on the right, the rim of the sun is reappearing. It's growing dramatically lighter here, and the sun will be off on its three-hour journey, uh, or the eclipse will be off on a, what will be a total three-hour journey around the world to the Bay of Bengal. This whole thing taking place at some 2,000 miles an hour will only last three hours from sun up in the Atlantic Ocean uh, south of Nova, Nova Scotia until sundown in the Bay of Bengal east of India. And now it's growing remarkably lighter. Yeah, we can, we can tell. check with our we can actually Mesobrianthemum tell. here, it does not seem to have been affected by this at all. No emotion or anything. <laughs> no response at all from your handheld analyst there, huh? No, none at all. Nor, unfortunately, did we have any birds to go to their nests, although they will have been doing that all the whole time. Little nocturnal animals will have been coming out. The wind did drop. It does look as though it might be picking up a little bit now. So we have really cheated the odds here, Leon. We were supposed to have only a 15% chance of glimpsing the solar eclipse. As, as I understand it now, uh, Dick, the British government, with the ex expectation of only a 15% chance of viewing this, has actually sent a uh, Royal Air Force plane that was going to be flying above the clouds to take pictures of all this. We have seen some pictures of that already, Leon, the RAF plane flying above the clouds with nothing obscured. Many of the scientists who have gathered in England will be disappointed, however, 
at their inability to study the corona. Uh, some of the luckier ones are off in, uh, to the east of here, where uh, in some parts of England they're having a very good view of this, and much of the country has 95% or a little less than that. But because now spacecraft are able to photograph the sun against the darkness of space, it's not so important to have this uh, natural phenomenon, which occurs somewhere on Earth about every two years. Uh, people now have been uh, telling us that they're, the scientists are interested in phenomena on the ground, the effects of temperature, cha temperature changes, uh, changes in radiation levels and the like. Mm -hmm. And speaking of phenomena on the ground, is it, is it still raining in that area there? I saw just a shot a second ago of people walking around with umbrellas there. It has been raining on and off uh, all morning. That is one natural phenomenon that is very familiar to this country, Leon. <laughs> and does, it doesn't seem to have deterred the crowds at all. Have you been able to see any of the people that uh, I read about this morning? There were some hundred thousand or so boats that were out there in, in the water watching this as well. Have you seen any of those? We, we are in a place where we can't see that, Leon, but certainly they were expecting uh, in the waters off Cornwall, the peninsula that juts between <coughs> the English Channel and the Atlantic Ocean, they were expecting 100,000 boats out there to take advantage of totality. They were also expecting, we were told, something like 2,000 airplanes, and authorities were very worried about people being careless uh, about uh, driving both of those vehicles uh, during the totality and uh, getting in each other's way. We mm -hmm. haven't heard anything, of course, about that. But people have been arriving here all overnight. The county of Cornwall, a poor county, a third of its income is from tourism, had been hoping for a bonanza here out of this. People flocking here not only for the sun, but for the absence of the sun. It's come out to about half of what they were prepared to deal with and just a little short of what they expected. You know, moment, moments ago, Dick, you were talking about some of the, some of the superstitions from around the world that, that uh, accompany these, these phenomena, like the one we're watching right now as we see the sun ba uh, gradually now getting larger and larger in this picture here. What do you know of the old local English, old English or sorts of superstitions about this, this kind of event? Well, I can tell you what the local druids, uh, those who practice a pre-Christian pagan faith na oriented to nature, think. Some of them say that they believe that the sun and the moon uh, represent the masculine and feminine uh, aspects of divinity, and an eclipse like this is a kind of a mating ceremony all over this county and indeed elsewhere in England there will be ceremonies going on as we speak and have been going on for some time now as these nature oriented uh, people celebrate the uh, the eclipse it, it's it's rather interesting to see just how common some of these beliefs are around the globe I was reading this morning about uh, one particular superstition in India I'm sure we'll talk about that more throughout the day here but uh, the superstition there was uh, again dealing with fertility they were saying that women should not expose their pregnant bellies to this eclipse uh, for fear of any deformities or any other strange events like that interesting we'll hear more about that sort of thing throughout the morning and we're looking now dick as the sun is getting brighter and brighter there how does it feel there does it feel more like uh, early morning afternoon what it's just like dawn leon uh, we can't see that twilight behind us because of the cloud but speaking of the fertility aspects uh, we uh, gather that uh, some couples have been trying to, uh, to time it just right so they can have a baby born during the total eclipse. That <laughs> gives them four minutes, sort of, in this country. And also, we understand that there will be others trying to conceive during the total eclipse. <laughs> It'll be curious to find out what kind of mathematics they had to perform to figure that one out. <laughs> That's a good one. All right, we're watching this picture now. This is incredible, incredible live pictures that we are getting right now from Cornwall, England, as the eclipse has passed through totality. We saw it disappear just about maybe uh, about seven or about six or six, six minutes or so ago, and now the sun is emerging on the other side of the moon.
Dick Blystone reporting live this morning from Cornwall, England. We thank you much. We will continue to watch this as this event traverses the European continent and then across Asia. In the end of the day, this is going to be coming down. The sun, as they sort of the eclipse, as they say, will be disappearing into the Bay of Bengal. Dick Blystone, if you're still there with me, can you tell me, do you know when this is supposed to come to a conclusion in the Bay of Bengal? It's supposed to come to a conclusion just about three hours after it started. And it started here at 11 minutes after 11 plus 6 seconds. So uh, add three hours to that, and that's where you are. Just, uh, what, about uh, two and three quarters hours from now. All right, we're continuing. As we said, we will have live coverage of this throughout the morning. We'll be checking in at different spots across Europe. We've got... Uh, Shots coming in to us from locations like Turkey as well as uh, across India. And believe we also have shots this morning coming in from Pakistan as this eclipse makes its way across that half of the globe. So stay with us right here on CNN for all of that. We will have continuing coverage of that as well as that uh, other live story that we're covering here in the U.S. of the uh, Jewish Community shooting Center shootings. I'm